right guys and today um i have these two gorgianis um now they're a little burnt that's because they were right above a fish light but they needed that light to grow so they got the light to grow but i have two beautiful fiddle leaf cuttings that i took i believe two weeks three weeks ago ish i have to look back on the channel then rooting and enjoying life and so we're gonna be potting them because they deserve it so i might be potting some more other plants in this video this one did not grow any new leaves while it was propagating but it has tons of roots maybe because i propagated them in fish water when they gained roots so they could accept the nutrients this one has way more roots and growing way better i don't know if fig leaf fiddle leaf uh leaves look like this when they come out or if that's just burnt has another leaf coming out there and another one fixing to come out there that one's extremely good. The other leaf, now, I'm doing kind of a series. I haven't labeled it as a series, but I'm going to say it's a series where I'm taking a bunch of propagations over the time of the next, of this month and stuff. Yes, it's winter. Yes, a lot of people don't take props during this um, season because of the cold and stuff and all that. But these guys are going to be inside and in a greenhouse. They're going to be fine. The short reason why I'm taking so many props is because I'm going to sell all these beautiful plants that I'm making on eBay for very good prices. And to make, and I need money, so like, you know, props are free. So why not make as many as I want and sell as many as I want to get money? Like, that's the point. Because I want another fiddle. I'm probably going to keep these two fiddles but to keep one of them or sell both of them. I have the big boy. I had three props and I was going to sell two of them and keep the third one. Sadly, the third one failed and rotted very quickly and just oofed. But that's okay. I've got more. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these guys out, show you the roots up close and personal. Gorgeous. My back's hurting, so I'm not going to do that for a while. Um, this one has way more roots. Guys, that is just a pro tip. Propagate your plants in fish water. Like, the day you see roots on them, put fish water in them if you have a fish tank. If you don't, <clears throat> and you can get one, I suggest getting one because it's amazing fish fertilizer. That's that root system. Okay, so I'm going to pot the one that's most established in this pot, or that pot. It's going to look better in this pot. And, yeah, it's going to roll with the last. I'm probably going to sell these guys for five each, six each, or both of them for something. I don't know. They're going to get sold for sure for a reasonable price. But you don't want to overprice things too much. They're not overpricing, but you don't want to price things too high because if people see it selling... For lower prices at big box stores and stuff for a bigger plant and stuff they're not gonna buy from you trust me because people are just like that especially if you're american you want cheap prices because we like cheap okay we like cheap now this is way wetter than i would love for a fiddle to be in but um it's actually not gonna affect these fiddles too much because they're propped in water so they're used to moisture there's this adorable honey boo boo. I'm gonna put it underneath a different grow light. Um, because, so it will grow better. Move that over there. Now, I have to empty this propagation station every time I get done, like propagating, and it's crazy. Um, I only have like a few of these pots left. Here, I only do. In the greenhouse, I have tons more that's all over the ground that have just fallen from these shelves and never gotten picked up. So, I'm going to get those guys nice and touch weighted. Again, here's the root system. So gorgeous. Oh, uh, these guys are going to be such pretty plants for whoever buys them. You know, not sponsored, Bonnie, but just saying. Um, Y'all's clear pots are literally the bomb. Okay, the bomb. I love clear pots. I know they're on Amazon. That's like completely clear pots with nothing on them. I've never bought those personally though. And 
I look to in the for in the future, not right now, obviously. You guys know the struggles. OTW, I mean OTM at the moment. Okay, okay, I think that's good. Also, I'm doing Vlogmas, so I hope you enjoy these daily vlogs I'm doing. So, here's the fiddles. Uh, let me put this one in frame. Beautiful, gorgeous. Those are potted. If you're going, if you're wondering what I'm going to pot next, I have some baby elephant ears I'm going to rip out of the mother plants pots and pot them. But first, let me dump these water bottles out. And just a tip: if you have a fish tank and like plants but don't have any, suggest getting some because uh, fish water for plants is liquid gold. Okay, it's liquid gold. It's gonna be better than any fertilizer you can buy on the market ever. So uh, I'm gonna groom this plant. The reason I have you guys pointed down so much is be. Uh, hang on, let me get the right arrow angle. Is because of all the babies here, and I'm also gonna groom it while I'm here. This plant is in the cold, so it's obviously kind of on the not doing the best side. It's okay. Uh, this plant. Um, I'm hoping. Okay, next Friday. So I've got any plants that's on my porch. Have basically I'm on a time thing. I need to. I need 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 need. Why is this not coming off? Need to seriously have the greenhouse done by next friday which is december something something obviously um because it's gonna get down here where i live to like 18 degrees and a high of 30 that day so if any plant had a chance of life out here it's for sure dead unless it's already in dormant and it's not hitting it hang on with all the dead ones this arrangement are those spider mites i know dang well those are not spider mites. Oh my god. No. That might be one reason this plant's not liking life. Those are for sure spider mites. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this plant a rinse. I never really do anything when I see spider plant uh, spider mites. Kinda just roll with it. Not gonna lie. So there's no babies in this one right here. I don't know what she's doing with her life, but she needs to get to growing. There is two babies here, so I'm going to gently as possible. I hope that I don't have to take these out. Okay. They're going to come out, apparently, with their mother plant. So we're just going to do this thing right here. We're going to destroy this slightly, unfortunately. Okay. Basically, I don't want to remove it too much, but this needs to be away from the thing completely. Oh, why are you so connected? I was gonna cut her leaves and stuff. I mean, all the way down. Cut out that big piece. It's gonna, it's gonna stress her. She gonna be all right though. And these roots are a bit longer than I was anticipating. So I might need to put them in a little upgrade. Or I'll just cut the roots, but baby number one, one leaf plant gonna damage and stress these guys a bit but it's it's how I'm gonna have to do this because I want to get these guys propagated I don't like them having babies got it oh my god I'm so sorry plant this is a alocasia so they have spores which are basically little bulbs if I can find any I'm gonna plant them okay there's a spore I'm gonna put that. Are there any more spores? Oh my god, my trimmers are getting buried. They're basically like little bulbs, once again. Another spore. Uh, what else? I was digging through all these roots that came loose. Trying to find all the spores. There's another spore, kind of like little things kind of just got to look for a little there's a tiny tiny spore uh, that spore is dead the free plants here guys free plants if you want to keep them free plants if not you can sell them and make money like who doesn't want more money 
no, no, money is important. <laughs> Four spores. I'm gonna dig through that soil a bit more later. Um, I'm just mainly looking for spores right now. I'm gonna find all the spores that I can. The soil I'm gonna put right back in here so it's familiar. So there's spores here. Oh, this plant's gonna get so stressed out, but whatever. It's a plant. They're resilient. Why did I just sing that like that? You know, when I repot my alocasia rega shields, probably gonna do this to it also. Just to find all the spores. The more spores you have, the more plants you'll have. It's good for business. I'm gonna look for spores on the big mama plant. She should have spores. Like, like once again, the spores are like seedlings, pretty much. I'm gonna keep all of those. Okay, I don't see any more spores. I'm trying to look for all the spores, find all of the ones that I can. Now let's dig in the mother plant. Another spore. No more spores there. Now you gotta watch this because the spores are extremely loose. They can fall right out of the plant. You won't even see it. That's not a spore, that's just a bunch of roots. I think this plant might have some root rock on. That's not a spore. I'm not gonna disturb this like too totally much. I don't wanna kill the plant. I just wanna mainly find the spores. Okay. No more spores, and there's a spider. Bury the spider. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. Well, the mother's just died. Uh, we're not gonna talk of that. Anyways, no more spores there. See, I get like off topic and stuff. <laughs> and then, you know, that happens. So let's just save the mother plants. They're probably traumatized. Whatever though. Here's a spore right in the open. Oh, this is the one that didn't have any babies. I'm so sorry. You're so damaged. I apologize for issuing your life. Not a spore. Where are the spores? Man, these plants are going through some rough times. Not a spore. Where are the spores, child? Y'all, you just gotta, this is a patient process. So, might take a while to find the spores, but be patient. Not every alocasia has spores. It's normally just the ones that have babies on them that have spores. According to my experience, honestly. Okay. I heard some noise. Uh, it's, it's dark again. Okay. The creep. The creepy dang stuff out here, dude. <gasps> spore. Found a spore. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <gasps> Found another spore. Girl, you coming home today. Okay. Now these spores are important. They are your money makers. I think that's what I'm gonna leave alone. Uh, why don't they have roots on them? Oh my god. Just gonna pull these guys off and pot them. See what they do with their lives. They're not complete spores. Yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna rip that off. It's like way too connected. Not a spore, no. The spores are gonna be not mushy, unless they're rotted. If they're rotted, expect a mushy spore that you're gonna need to throw away because it's gonna be useless. Useless, I tell you, useless. Pretty much just gonna be re repotting these plants completely as I nearly killed them. Got a spore right there. Yo, I'm telling you, collect these spores when you see them. Another spore right there. It's 
Kind of taking some of these roots off, but she gonna be okay. She and alocasia. Okay, I've gotten every spore. She found another spore. See, I'm telling you, these things, they're hard to find. Like you gotta be careful when you're removing the soil. Cause you're gonna lose spores, trust me. Okay, now the third mother plant and then we can put the traumatized plants back together. We'll pot the spores sometime soon. Oh my God, what did I just do? Okay, anyways, there's probably spores in all the soil that's just everywhere now. What the heck? I swear, some of the stuff I hear here. Okay, I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? Okay, the spores and stuff I think move. Spores I'm gonna put over here. They are little. Do not lose them. Spores are important. They make you money. <clears throat> Money's needed in this world. To live. To buy things. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, now that this plant's been nearly murdered. It's fine, don't worry. I'm just gonna kind of gently dig for... By gently, I mean not really gently, but... I'm gonna watch the soil as it falls. No sports. You're one way, babies. You got to have the spores. They're normally pretty close to the root ball. No, okay, that's just the ball of soil. Okay, there's somewhere it kind of takes a process. You gotta go through it. Okay, baby number one. Baby number two. The spores are normally on the babies. Look in the babies. And we'll after this. There's a baby growing right there. Up and over. Spore. Found a spore. Like I said, watch. And right here. And they're kind of very small. That's not a sport. You don't want to be extremely extreme with it. You don't want to be extremely careful with it either, though. Or you're not going to get the sport. See, I'm just going to... God, that hurt. Let's take some of the mother plant's roots. She'll be okay. She is savage. Y'all, this plant's in winter mode anyway, so... She going to come back strong next year. I assure you. I'll dig through this never. <laughs> I already looked for spores and I've got a ton of spores. So now we're gonna get to repotting the mother plants that I nearly killed. I wasn't gonna include those in the repotting, but I nearly killed the mother plant. So I think it would probably be good to do that in this video. I practically nearly killed the mother plant. I'm so sorry. <laughs> This clumsy man. Oh my god, the shaky tripod. Driving me crazy. Okay. Okay, there's no spores on there. Oh my god, the, my table is buckling. <gasps> Another spore. Like I said, you're gonna randomly find these dudes. They are really tiny. That's not a spore, it's perlite. I was fixing to say don't throw your perlite away when you're digging for spores. Perlite's good and it helps your soil kind of dry out a bit. And it's pretty sure fertilizer, but I just threw one away because forgot to keep it, whatever. I have extra soil, I'm not picking the soil up that's on the ground to put in here, I'm not dealing with that. Gonna start some new stuff, but gonna establish these roots back. They're dead, so hopefully it doesn't cause any root rot. This camera position is horrible because the tripod shakes way more in this position. I have learned that. Please don't come after me, children. And whoever watches, whoever else watches my videos, yeah. You know, shout out to the people who have hit the like button already, and I'm not taking years to hit it. Like, thank you. You get a plus mark. 
because you're so nice. Oh, I just realized you guys can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. You can see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, thank you. The soil is extremely wet. Oh my god. It drives me crazy having wet soil, but I haven't bought perlite yet, and I kind of need to. Ugh, I'm just so tight. Oh my god. Y'all, these plants, they're not going to die, but they're going to be extremely stressed. I did way more stress to them than I was exceeding to wanting to do. It's okay, guys. Don't worry. They're plants. Like I say in every video, plants are resilient. They don't like something they'll do. you do, they'll let you know. You'll figure it out, they'll accept it, and they'll live with their life. Most plants, unless they're just done with their life completely. Then there's no explanation from me, honestly. I have some plants that I just throw away sometimes. And it's okay. If you have a plant that you gotta throw away, you do throw it away. Because you need to throw it away, and it's being a menace to society. And there's nothing else you can do to help it. And you tried your hardest, and put time and effort, in and everything else, and all that good, good. Pack this in strongly, because these are top, heavy plants. Okay, now, grab this big hunk of junk. I'm sorry you guys can't see the foliage. I need to switch the thing to back to where it's higher, but I have to take the tripod, stand up with the tripod, adjust the tripod, place it on the table in a good way, balance it, make sure it's not gonna fall, all that stuff. So it looks easy to you guys because you're not filming it and you're just watching, but trust me, it's not. I'm probably gonna stop after this, after I pop the babies. I don't want this video being an hour and 16 minutes long, like the last repotting we did. Well, not repotting, we were potting spider plants. Um, which is very fun, actually. It's a pain in the butt, though, because I had to do it, like, in a two-day section because I didn't have time. So, yeah, you can literally squeeze the soil and, like, wetness comes out. They're going to be okay. They're elephant ears. People literally plant elephant ears in ponds. They're going to be fine. Do not freak out if you see any dead plants in any of my videos. Because I just accept it and don't say I did a bad job. Okay. Why did my sleeve go down? Hang on, guys. I'm going to roll my sleeve back up because I don't want my sleeve getting dirtified. Probably doesn't make sense to you guys. Yeah, I don't have to wash this hoodie. Oh my god, I am so messy. See, fun fact, I hate weird feelings on my fingers. Like, I hate touching wet things. I hate touching slimy things. I hate having sticky fingers. Like, it literally, I cannot think with it. It's like wearing hats. I have hats. I love how I look with hats. But it stresses me out like crazy. So, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. I should have enough pots to plant most of the spores and stuff. And baby plants. Just gonna grab these guys. Can give them a root trim if we want to. Not really gonna deal with that right now. Just gonna kind of blow them up like this. Boom, 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 boom. They're only gonna be in these pots. These guys have roots, so I can sell these guys whenever I want. The spider plant cuttings have roots. Doesn't mean I'm going to sell them right now, no. Because I wanna let them get established. These guys, they're already gonna be stressed when they get from shipping. I'm not gonna sell them today. I'm gonna go and put them on the market. They're gonna be stressed tomorrow, okay? So if I post a comedian post and be like, Update on the 79,000 elephant ears we potted. And they're half dead, some of them. And plant depressions and, you know. That's just to be expected here, okay? Do I recommend putting elephant ears in this tiny, these tiny little pots? No. Am I going to use my big pots for something that <coughs> can easily fit in this? No. <coughs> mm. it's just not something long term so if anybody buys these for me on ebay it keeps this plant in here for like five months like five months is way overkill it doesn't sound like it but trust me elephant ears they grow fast they make babies fast they 
grow spores fast, the uh, same as babies, but you know, anyways. I'm gonna use this, that, boom, ba -da 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 -da. trying to hurry up because I don't have a ton of time doing Vlogmas, so I gotta get these videos out. For those YouTubers who aren't doing Vlogmas, enjoy your life. Like, I enjoy filming, actually, like, very much. It's just so busy and so hard to do Vlogmas. My quality of my videos is not going down. I'm not like other people where I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna... I don't even care if this video is bad quality or not. I'm gonna post it because of Vlogmas. No. I'm attempting Vlogmas, but if the video's not done editing and stuff, and it's not to the quality that I want it, and I'm done editing, and there's more editing to be doing, then I'm not posting it. Because Vlogmas is nice, yes. Is it extremely good for view for people who don't have hundreds of thousands of subs? Not really. But eventually the views will catch up, the watch hours will catch up, all that stuff. I'm gonna have to do some arranging on my plant shelf because holy chicken nuggets. This one's a big boy. Eh, I'm having to itch my eye. Y'all, these videos are like FaceTime. Once again, I say it in every video I post pretty much. You don't like videos that like are long and a lot of people and I'm talking for a while and stuff and ranting about a ton of stuff, then don't watch me because that's just how I am when I film plant videos. Gaming videos, I get right to the subject. So I know I have a certain amount of minutes to film those because of the Xbox. Um, plant videos, I have time to talk and stuff and I just know plant video people who watch plant videos, most of them enjoy long videos like this. Like, people get tons of views on these videos like this, where they're just talking like a chit chatty replay kind of, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's just like that. Okay, I don't know what that noise is. <sighs> I think a dog is drinking water. I'm gonna cut this long root off. Too long! Okay, that root is too long for these sports. Ow! I cut myself. I'm not gonna cut those off. That root was just way too, way overboard. These guys already have leaves coming in. The new spores, they're gonna take a little while. I'm not gonna lie. It would be good to grow them in LECA. Am I going to use LECA? No, because I do not have LECA money. Lika is kind of pricey. It's for the Richies. Sorry to all the Richies out there who's actually named Richie. <laughs> or Rich, but... You know... It's just how it is, dudes. Okay. Okay. The spore's not planted the best. Is it planted good enough for me? Heck yeah. Y'all, these noises and crap I hear on this porch tonight, they just weird. <laughs> like, I genuinely can't stand it, sound of my life. These ones that have extremely long roots, like, no, they're done. It's giving them a minor trim. Don't worry, they're spores. They have much more rooting to grow. Much more roots to grow. They will love life once they grow leaves. Once they get established, etc. Etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that you love me. Oh, yeah. You told me that you hate me so much. Oh. I have a song stuck in my head. I don't really know the name of it. I kind of just have it stuck in my head. That does not look like a plant at all, but it is a plant, trust me. Just like planting Ethereum seedlings, it's like that. Okay, I'm gonna get the ones with the longest roots. Mash it down, mash it down, mash it down. Mash, mash, mash it down. Stay right there. Now, okay. I'm gonna be kind of careful. You don't want to bury, you don't want to bury the growth 
that's coming out. You want to bury the roots and the ball. You're going to drop a lot of soil doing this, but trust me, in the end, it's going to be a beautiful plant. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit of roots sticking out when you're planting spores. Just make sure you don't have it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Just broke the new approaching leaf. Whatever. Okay. Is that... Is that the broken one or not? I, I have more pots. Okay, how many more spores do I have? One, wait. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten more of these pots. They're all in a greenhouse, of course. Um, shall I wait or shall I not? Okay, that's going to actually be all the repotting I'm doing tonight. Um, I will do a dedicated video of just repotting spores probably tomorrow, honestly. It's Vlogmas. This video is going to be up Friday. Spore video, if I get that video filmed, is going to be Saturday. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little repotting. And without further ado, adios besties.